Hi staff, this quick video is for you. I wanted to show you how you can be signed into multiple Google accounts at once. You know, some of you are using your personal account and your school account now that you're home and um, trying to switch back and forth between them can be confusing and can also actually end up causing problems between your two accounts and potentially merging parts of your two accounts, which you probably don't want to happen. So normally a lot of people, they go to Google and they click the blue sign in button here. Um, but I'm going to actually ask you to open Chrome. So make sure you're in the Chrome browser. And if I go up to not my, my big icon here, but the little icon that's up in the browser, you can see that I am signed into five different accounts at once. Actually, it looks like six at the moment. <laughs> So I can tap any of these accounts and you notice that all of my favorites um, disappear and that is because this is a totally different account than my main account. I can tap into my YouTube account which looks different. You'll see a different thing up here. So then that way I can keep all of my accounts signed in but they all stay separate. So instead of a lot of people tend to go to the big icon. Let me switch back to my main account here. They tend to go here, they click sign out, they click add another account. The problem is, is this doesn't fully sign you out of one account and into another. So instead of adding another account here, you want to click the little icon up at the top. And if you're not signed into anything, it's going to prompt you to sign into one at first. If you're already signed into one of your accounts, you're going to click add. Type a nickname for your account. Maybe this is personal. You don't have to create a desktop shortcut. You certainly can. Click add. And then it's going, you're already a Chrome user, so you're going to click sign in. You're going to type in your email here. And then you would type in your password, click next. If it's your school account, make sure you click to link data and make sure you accept the sync. And then if you need to add another account into that, you would click the little icon again, click add follow the same process. So you can sign in all of your accounts and then just with tapping the little icon up here and clicking your different accounts, you can quickly switch which account you're in without having to sign fully out of one or the other.